morning everybody this is Gina welcome to the Firefly Studio 67 um, today we are going to be working on using up those book pages and making some faux stamps so this project's been done time and time again this is just my take on it and uh, I thought we'd just play around with some more book pages so the first thing you're going to want to do um, is probably take two or three book pages and glue those together. Um, I've used three because these were kind of thin book pages. So glue those together and you can just use a glue stick for this but make sure you get it uh, glued all the way to the edge and then you're going to want to come back with a postage stamp um, die or you can just um, take some of the um, scallop or you know the uneven um, scissors you could do that if you don't have that don't worry you can just cut out a square and then just kind of go along the edges just to give it you know the look of a of a postage stamp so don't don't stress out if you don't have the um, the die so I have went ahead and cut out two of those ahead of time so that you guys wouldn't have to sit here waiting on me. And then I can show you up close. I've just done some layering of more book pages and then stamped and then I took a couple of the little bus butterflies that I had cut out and then backed them with some Irish linen thread and this is some old vintage lace. So. Um, let's just get going here. So the first thing I've got is, you know, these pages that come in the Edith Holden book. I really like those, but again, if you don't have this, just find something that's a little bit different, a different font to what your base is. You know, you're just building up some layers. Um, they're very easy to do, but they, they are a lot of fun. And uh, with everything going on right now, it's kind of nice to have a really easy project so we're not getting too stressed out. So just get those glued down and then you can also sew this at the end. I did one of them with um, some stitching around it. I'll show you that again in a minute close, up close. So um, get those down. And then um, I've got some more. Um, these are the pages that I worked with the other day on the master board. So these are left over. So I'm just going to carry on using these because um, I want these to be kind of shabby chic. And I like this green. I'm going to just tear it and uh, you know keep it the size that so it won't cover everything. You don't want it covering up all of it. down a bit. I will um, run these through the machine in a minute, but I won't bother with it right now. We'll just carry on. It's such a quick project, guys. Um, again, I've got the flowers we worked with the other day, and these are from, let me get the camera in on that, the Ira, Ira Lajama shop. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but she's on Etsy, so... If you're wondering where you can get these flowers, that's where. Um, so I'm just going to cut these, cut these two out quickly. You don't have to do it. You can keep them. Uh, you know, you could just now... Oh, the other thing you're going to need is a little postage type stamp. I've got several things here. Um, this was another little kit I picked up. A uh, couple months, well, it's probably been over a year now, so it might be kind of fun just to use one of those on this. So let me just do um, one of these so you guys can see. And 
and then I'll take this one on the stamp. And I'm using Stampin' Up Early Espresso. I'm not a fan of black, so I, I usually tend to use this. So, as I was saying, you could at this point just stop. I always like to have something that's got some dimension, and it usually ends up being butterflies. Um, you could use fussy cut flowers. Let me see if I got a small enough one. I mean, that one's pretty big, but you could put those, but like I said, I just prefer to have uh, something that has got some dimension to it, and then awful, <laughs> it will also give you the chance to put some fabric or lace or um, twine behind it. So just really quickly, let me cut these out. We'll do these, and then these will be done, and you'll have those in your stash already. They're just nice. Uh, you can use them as little tuck spots or add them to a journal card. And so it's nice just to have a few of them done in advance. So I hope everybody's okay. Um, I think we're all going to probably be watching a lot more videos movies and things in the weeks to come so I hope that you'll stay tuned and I'll try to keep I'll try to keep some ideas coming up I'm trying to aim to put out videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays guys but um, that won't always you know if things come up I might not be able to stick to that schedule but that's the way I've been trying to do it um, so fingers crossed you should be able to look forward to that. Okay, so we've got I've got those cut out. Let me just grab a little bit of lace. So I've just got a tiny piece of lace there. That's really old lace. And I'm just going to um, get that down over here. Just want to bunch that up a bit and then I'm going to add this little butterfly. And just hold that down for a minute and then that will glue through. And then this one, I'm just going to take some of the um, Irish linen thread and just put a bit of that behind. And I just twist that and then get that on that glue and then you can come back and put a little bit of glue down the center of that butterfly again. You get the lid on that. My, I've noticed my throat has been acting up with this um, Fabri-Tac. I've been using a lot of that lately and every time I do it uh, starts irritating me so I'm going to have to be more careful with that glue. Okay guys, so now you can see how quick those are. And I think they're really, really sweet. So you got those. And then this is the one you can probably see the stitching. So it, it does it does add a lot to it. And then if you use the black, that would really pull it out. But I'm happy with that. So there you go, guys. Just something really quick. Like I said, they've been done before. You guys have 
but um, I've had a lot of my subscribers say that you know they don't mind they just want to see you know everybody's got a different style so that's that's uh, the way I like to make them I hope you guys have enjoyed that and um, give it a closer up there you go so I hope everybody's okay, and as I said, um, everything goes well. I'll be back on Thursday with another um, tutorial, but you guys stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye!